Uh, welcome back to an episode of Morocco, where last episode I started mentioning myself watering over the fact that I could take so much land. Which, in hindsight, I don't think was quite the most appropriate remark I've ever done, but... As I said before, I really don't give a... Yeah. Anyways, let's just begin the episode. So, right now, all we're doing right now is just sieging up all the land, pretty much destroying the rest of the Persians. Uh, yeah, I, I finally just had it from them, and yeah, we, we're just completely destroying them now. And right now, we can take more ideals, except for Diplomatic. <laughs> I was about to say, we're about to go take our first ideals in a long time! Well, except it's Diplomatic, and I do need to have Diplomatic stats. Okay, you guys go right here. Go crush that 6 army that's trying to be all cool and tough, and thinking that it could do stuff. Oh, and it just either committed mass suicide, or it just did the smartest move I've ever seen a unit do. Let's go right here. Oh, it just did the smartest move I've ever seen a unit do. But at the same time, I have my major commander who is all cavalry, I just realized that, and completely destroyed them. Yep. Ah, and then you guys group up, deconnect. Yeah, the Persians are now dead, everyone. All, all hail the new Persian Emperor! Yay! Get down to here. And yeah, they're going to be all done. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Oman seems to be enjoying their little conquest spree. Let's go bring that to an end. Okay, all men group up. Group up. And let's go end that. Because... I feel like ending it right now. Ooh, we can also get this call from the jet. Yes. The Battle of Quinetta. Seems like there was a battle of some sorts. Oh, it seems like they're retreating too. Hmm. That ain't good. That is never good. Well, it seems like we still move out of the land. Move forward. And yeah. This is basically their f their final death. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go easy on them, seriously. And boom! Oh barnacles! I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Okay, seems like we can't get that big of a peace deal this time. Even though we have basically everything. Still 10 nationalism per year. I don't really care. They they don't really like do much in the long run for me. So yeah. Let's get all this. Yeah, look at all this place. It's it's looking so it's looking so my color right now. Let's go destroy the army. Destroy the army, and then we have the Mongols moving in to make sure they crush their little Buddies, <laughs> yeah, goodbye, Persia. Goodbye. Okay, so 99%. Let's see, what did I want out of this? Um, preferably a border with these guys so that they don't like, you know, think of me as too far away. But I don't think that's gonna happen. So let's do like a return course to these guys. Okay, return course to my friends. Um. Wait, this is Hedges? I don't want to turn anything to Hedges. Yeah, let's not return anything to Hedges, because Hedges is Hedges, and Hedges is not what I want to return things to. So anyways, um, hmm, um, hmm, let's see. Wait, do we already have this? Yeah, we do have this seat up. Then why can't I give it to them? Oh, he has a claim. Ah, I see. It's just a claim. I thought it was something more. So, apparently we can't do that. Okay, so then... Why did I go to war for these guys? Huh. Well, since I can't really take that much from them right now, I guess... Is there anything I can do in, like, terms of splitting them up? Like, return cores and maybe... Korshan... Just like make him a major power over here. I'm gonna put your stand. Just like divide him up into a little tiny. Hmm. Could do that, but then again, I'm not big enough yet, so. Now, nah, let's not do that. How much gold do you have? Only 100. So I only pay for 1% of what I want. Um. Yeah, please get your cuties without Ethiopia. Iraq. Yeah, just annul all your treaties. Uh, give me this. I guess give me like one province. 
only get one province, I made to make sure I like the province. One province, yeah, I think I like that province. And, yeah, there we go. And there we go, a completely, almost seems like pointless war that went on for longer than I expected. We are now done! Yay! And now it's time to bring back all the troops because I now need to organize them. Yay. Okay. Let's go get you guys. There we go. Everyone, meet right here. We're gonna just basically combine you guys all into one big gigantic group and then distribute you guys all out again. You get to be in this gigantic pile of mess too. And now that we're at peace again, that means that we have a semi-good influence going. Um, let's go do some stuff with it. Like... No, not gonna do that. Not gonna get more technological costs. I'm just... Let's make those cores right now. Didn't... I guess I forgot I had some other cores I had to do. Um... Let's see. Najed and Iraq. My two vassals right now. Perfect, perfect, perfect vassals. You guys are going all the way down there to go crush these guys. Good. Hopefully they won't be freeing themselves, but it might be a possibility. And how much longer until I get Najed? Najed should be really close to, like, Diplo Annex, if I remember correctly. Let me see. Break oil ties? No, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Economics new. I want to... Where the, where the heck is Annex Vassal? Oh, my goodness. There it is. Thank goodness. I was like... Where is this button? Okay, so that should get me right there. That should get me a lot of cores, actually. Hoo-wee. Get to have all this region conquered, and... Once I have all my army grouped up in a good, gigantic fashion, what I'm going to do is evenly distribute distribute them, and then from there, I think we have to go to play war in Ethiopia. Because right now, they're only allies, Hedges. Who, as we just look at, is kind of sad right now. So... Yeah, okay. A book burning! I don't really care. <laughs> oh gosh, Congo, you are really starting to annoy me. Okay, anyways, we got all of our troops grouped up. Let's start distribute them, distribute them. There we go, 33. So let's distribute this stack over here. Yeah, I should be able to walk through my own land. I was like, what are they talking about? Oh, ooh. Okay, seems like they're going to be a little bit of annoyance in the future. Uh, Mamelukes, are we still at peace with you guys? Uh, no we are not. So, you guys are... At the same t I guess at the same time I'm going to be declaring war on the, uh... On the, uh... People. I'm also going to be declaring war on the... Mamelukes. Ethiopians. There we go. Somebody over there, and you guys are the four people that I apparently discluded from this little joint adventure. Lucky you. Alright, and let's see. How many colonies do we have going right now? Because I want to keep a maximum of about four. There we go, four. And let's see. Keep Give myself just like a little bit of rest so that my troops get all in position. We're just going to sit here and relax for a second. We can also build a lot. Like, a lot. Let's go start building more. We need to build like a couple of forts to make sure that no one, if they try to get to this land, it's not all like just barren wasteland. Okay. Or just, I meant to say just nothing on it. That's what I meant to say. Ooh, and we can build so many of these. Ah, uh, but I can't do it yet. Alright, you. Let's see. How much are we doing? Seven. So we really don't need that higher advisor. Let's get this guy. Yeah, let's just have no revolt risk for like a couple years. That'd be nice. That'd be insanely nice. Oh, man. Yeah, just no revolt risk for like a couple of years, just chilling. And, you know, this is going to sound really stupid, but I completely forgot to start my timer. So, um, I'm going to go off of this as being like, it's going to end in like five minutes. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys got a longer episode or a shorter episode today. So, you guys tell me in the comments, because I really don't know until the editing process comes. Uh, yeah. You guys just stick around here, seriously. Hunt rebels around here. Okay, because this is where most of the rebels are going to be coming from. Uh, Oman, hey, would you like, would you like to give me, no, <laughs> I know. Alright, let's go see, you guys go right here. 
You guys are gonna be right there. You guys, I guess, go right there. There's my good general right there. And once these, once my troops right here are in position, we'll declare war, destroy these two guys, and be basically on our way. Cause like we only have a couple of years before, before we really have to end this let's play because of uh, timing. But we really want to conquer all of Africa for our betterment. And apparently, some of our vassals, will, some of our allies, will finally join in in some of our wars. That is helpful. And let me go get my uh, ship, my ships. Send them over here, and we're gonna go destroy them over there. Let's go see. And they're obviously trying to retreat because they know I'm more powerful than them. Let's go see where they're trying to go to. Let's go chase them down. Yeah, they're trying. To, what? Why, are you guys? You shouldn't just sit there. I do have more men than you. Okay, you guys, go hunt those guys down, and then that should be the only army over there. And then while this war is also going on. You guys only have an alliance with hedges. Okay, well then, in that case, I'm gonna go send one army back over here. Mm-hmm. One army back over here, and what we're going to do... Alright, you guys are completely done. Let's go down. Whew! Alright, they're all completely dead. Alright, we just need to occupy all the main territories that they don't like do anything stupid so let's go do that now ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah I thought I saw that you guys were about to come attack me weren't you you guys were just about to come attack me and look at that and boom, dead spread out and there we go it's all over for them all right my troops are all in position again um Actually, these ones I can't get in position, which is really kind of frustrating right now. Um, do we have any mercs or anything like that out? Just to make sure I'm not... I'm making sure I'm not paying any, like, additional cost. Let's do that. This actually does make me a lot of money. A lot of money. So, but we need to get some troops over there. Yeah, you, you kind of annoy me again, Oman. Now I remember why I declared war on you. Now it's all coming back to me. Hey, yeah. Now you people are all like chatting in the chat like, oh yeah. That was a dumb one, James. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'll admit that was a pretty dumb move on me. But um it's fine, it's fine. Because I can just do if if I really, really have to, I don't really like it, but I can do the really long way around. And call in my allies, no one wants to join. There we go. Get these guys. Wait for a second. There we go. Get these guys. Okay, there we go. And you guys go down here. You guys go down there. You guys go right here. You guys go all the way around to go siege up one province. Okay, and you guys go siege up that province. And apparently we can actually convert things! Not worth it. And we can actually get things! Okay, I'm trying to finish up this tech group right here so I can finally get some more administrative ideas and get production. Ooh, that's gonna be, th this production 20% efficiency is gonna be so nice when I finally get it. Plus that reduction of cost. Ooh, I can't wait. Can't wait. All right, look at all this. It's all finishing up. We do have some, let's go have these guys split up. Go destroy whatever you can. Just go directly across the continent. Don't even have to worry about whatever they try to do. I'm just going to be able to block it. Um, in terms of these guys over here, we should probably block them too. I'll probably just put an army together. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to fight me, which is really kind of annoying me. So let's just do that. Go right there. And that's today's episode, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.